Hello and welcome back. Now that you're familiar with all panels on the post interface, we are going to utilize everything we've learned so far to create a post and then formatting it so that it's visually pleasing. Start off by hovering over the quick access toolbar at the top to add a new post, or you can use the left navigation menu in the dashboard. First, enter the title Bora Bora. Notice how WordPress will immediately generate a web address for your post. As mentioned before, it's always a good idea to change your permalink structure from the WordPress default. For now, don't worry about permalinks, we'll go over it in a later video. Open the lecture material. I have purposely formatted this material to be messy, but don't worry. Copy and paste the content provided into the editor, then click preview. A new tab will pop up, previewing what the post is going to look like if you publish it. You'll notice a lot of random formatting, random links, random bold and italic text, so let's go back to the editor and fix that. Instead of manually removing the formatting one by one, we could utilize the paste as text toggle. Select the entire article, or you can use the keyboard shortcut of Ctrl A on Windows, or Command A if you're on a Mac. Delete the content, then toggle paste as text. Go back to the lecture material, select all, and copy. Go to the editor and paste. Click on the preview button and switch to the preview tab. Notice the whole article is now plain text with no formatting at all. Right now the post still looks pretty underwhelming, so let's jazz it up. Go back to the editor window and toggle off paste as text. The first thing we're going to do is make Bora Bora the Romantic Island a heading. So highlight the text, click the paragraph dropdown, then choose Heading 2. We don't want the whole post to show up on the front page. Instead, we want to add a Read More element so only the excerpt shows on the front page. Find a suitable point and hit Enter. Place your cursor just after where you want the excerpt to end, then click Insert Read More tag. We are going to make the sentence, simply said Bora Bora is the most beautiful island in the world, into a quote. Select the sentence and click the block quote button, then hit preview. It's not looking too bad, but I don't really like how the quote is splitting the content, so let's go back to the editor and switch to text view. We are going to add in some basic HTML to pull the quote to the left. First, find the sentence. Notice the block quote tags at the start and end of the sentence. Place your cursor just after the word block quote in the opening tag, then type in space class equals a line left in quotation marks. Hit preview again and go to the preview tab. The quote is now a line left and the content is wrapping around the quote instead of being split. Go back to the editor and switch back to visual mode. We're going to make Romance on Bora Bora Heading 3. Put more spacing in before the title and remove spacing after the title. Make the For the Visitor sentence bold, then we'll add a bulleted list. Select from the word Enchantment to the word Suites. If you need more space, you can drag the bottom right of the editor window. Click on Bulleted List. Let's make the Activities sentence a Heading 3. Remove the spacing just after Lagoon Exploration and make the activity titles bold. To quickly do this, simply highlight the text, then Ctrl B on the keyboard or Command B on a Mac. Alternatively, you can click on the bold button. We'll add a blank line before the title. If you hit Enter, a new bullet point will appear. Place your cursor after the bullet point, then toggle it off. We'll bold other activities as well, but notice the list below is in a weird format. This is happening because in the original document, this was a bulleted list. However, when we toggled the plain text mode and pasted the list, the list was converted into plain text. Switch to text mode and find the list. We're going to clean this up by deleting the spaces before the items. Switch back to visual mode when you're done. 
Select the list and make it a bulleted list. Also delete the blank lines at the bottom of the post. Click on Preview. The post is now looking much better but I feel like the post needs a right aligned quote right here just to balance it out a little bit. So go back to your editor. We'll use the first sentence as a quote. Place your cursor just after the sentence, then hit enter. Highlight the sentence and click block quote. Switch to text mode and find the sentence. Just like before we are going to give the tag an align property, this time aligning to the right. So type in class equals align right in quotation marks and when you're done hit preview. The post is now looking much better. Go back to the editor and switch to visual mode. We are going to change the activities title to popular activities. Select the title and type popular activities. Next we are going to indent the activities. So select from Lagoon Exploration all the way down to Motu Tapu and hit increase indent. When you're done, hit preview. The post is now looking reasonably good, however I don't like the uneven edge of the text, so go back to the editor, select everything, and click justify. We'll leave the post format as standard post. We'll add a new category for this post. Click on add new category, and enter Pacific Islands. We want the category to go under travelogue, so choose travelogue as the parent category. When you're ready, Hit Add New Category. Also tick the Travelog category. The new category may not show as a subcategory under Travelog, however a simple refresh will fix this. Tag the post with relevant keywords, separated by commas. When finished, hit Add. Let's add a featured image to this post. Go to the Featured Image panel and click on Set Featured Image. Switch to the Upload Files tab, click Select Files and navigate to the provided featured image. Click Open to start the upload process. When done, change the title and alt text to Bora Bora, then click Set Featured Image. Your featured image will now appear in the panel. One last thing we'll do before previewing. We are going to add some links. In the first paragraph, we are going to add links to Tahiti and Moria. Highlight Tahiti and click Insert Link. For the URL, we are going to link to the Tahiti article on Wikipedia. Enter the URL and for the title, we'll type in Read More About Tahiti. Check Open Link in a New Window slash tab, then click Add Link. Highlight Moria, enter the URL, enter a title, check the box, then click Add Link. Click on Preview when you're ready. The post is looking pretty good. As you can see Tahiti and Moria now link to their respective articles on Wikipedia. The text is justified, the post is now properly categorized and tagged and we are now ready to publish the post. Now this video is only a guideline so feel free to change anything to how you like it. Don't be afraid to experiment with different settings. Last but not least, go up to the publish panel. We won't need to change any of these settings so just click publish. Your post is now published. Click on view post. You are now seeing the entire post. If we click on the site title to go to the front page, we can see an excerpt of our published post, as well as a continue reading link. And of course, clicking on that link will take us back to the full post. Now that you're familiar with how to create and format a post, let's talk about editing and managing posts.